Out of all the characters that appear on regular show, I think we can all agree that High Five Ghost is the most underrated and actually deserved more screen time than what he was given. It seemed like Thomas, a character that was introduced after High Five Ghost and left before him, had more screen time and was more prominent in episodes. Even with his lack of presence on the show, Fives is kind of one of my favorite characters. With the little that we are given about Fives, it showed that he's probably the most down to earth out of all the main cast. Yes, even Skips, down to earth people don't kill anyone over arm wrestling. Anyways, Fives seems to be the most normal out of everyone. He gets along well with everybody, he's kind, supportive, even his family is cool. You can't tell me you wouldn't want to hang out with Low Five Ghost. And you'd think that a character like that would get more lead episodes in an almost decade long show. But nope, and I don't know why. I think a lot of people would have liked to see Fives be more than just Muscle Man's sidekick slash yes man, which I guess is like the only bad thing you can say about him is that he's a yes man for the first couple of seasons. But even when we move past that, we learn that Fives is pretty wholesome when it's shown in the handful of episodes that he takes the lead in. The postcard I think is the best example of this. When Fives meets a girl at a cafe that he bonds with, but she's leaving for college so they make a deal to see each other in four years. Four years goes by and he gets a postcard from her to finally meet on March 20th, which happens to be that day. The problem is that they can't make out most of the text on the card, so they go and meet up with Low Five Ghost, who's a cop, to hook them up with the forensics guys to see if they can help them find out the address. After a few minutes of everyone busting each other's chops, <laughs> just busting your chops, <laughs> they get back the full letter but still can't make out the full address. So Low Fives devises a plan to go around town to every pizza place chain in hopes of finding Celia for Fives. After visiting every restaurant in town, still no luck. Until the forensics guys radio in to tell them they've uncovered the full address. The place in question happens to be on the other side of town, and they only have 10 minutes to get there. This prompts Low Five Ghost to go full on Dominic Toretto mode to get to the other side of town before time runs out and Celia leaves. They get there in time with a few minutes to spare, but when Five walks inside, he sees that he's too late. He thanks his bros for helping and requests to be left alone, finding himself at the same cafe he met Celia only to his surprise for her to be sitting right next to him just like how they first met. They expressed to each other how they thought they had both moved on, then lived happily ever after. This episode really showed how likable Fives is as a character. Even at the ending, the little fade out shot with him and Celia holding hands made me smile. And I know I've said it already, but I'm gonna keep saying it, but Fives deserved way more episodes. He had the potential to be way better than most of the characters on the show. I think the writers knew that he was gonna have a minimal role within the series, so they just made the few leads that we got of him to depict him as very cool and chill, which I'm glad they did. Even in that flashback to high school episode when him and Muscle Man first met, showed that he's always been a cool down to earth dude. But let me know what you guys think. Do you agree that Fives was underrated and deserved more screen time? Or was he just fine being a background character?